Hi there, welcome back to the next video about these Seaborn tutorial and in this video tutorial I will going to talk about the violin chart which is a very special kind of chart and a combination of uh, KDE which is a kernel desk, uh, density estimate and the box plot chart for showing you the richer distribution of data along with the whisker and curtail information. So let's see uh, how we can create violin chart. And before I do that, let me know if you want to see anything other than that related to the Seaborn tutorial based on the tutorials I have already shared. Uh, and uh, let me know in the comments about uh, what else you would like to see from the Seaborn data visualization perspective and I'll try to create a chart for that. All right, so the data that I am using if you are watching my previous video or uh, following following the videos that I've already posted, uh, it's about um, sales data set. So just to show you sales.head and uh, this is the data set that we have been using. It's having a lot of uh, uh, close to real data, but again, it's, it's uh, one of the dummy data which has been provided um, and uh, has some around 10,000 rows which mimics the real life operations of a company includes the order priority sales discount ship mode things like that and uh, let's say we want to create a violin chart so what do we want is sns sns is nothing but uh, the alias for seaborn library that i created earlier so seaborn dot get plot and on x-axis i'm using the same example that i showed in the previous video for box plot so that there is some relation that you can find it and it will be easy to understand as well for a new chart perspective. So product category and then on y axis let's say you want shipping cost and uh, what I can do here what I need to specify for violin is kind equals to violin. All right, let me see if I have done, could not enter product category, product category, all right. All right, so one more element, which is data, equals to sales, all right. So here we have a chart and this, as you can see, shows in the middle, uh, the representation of box plot. Over here, the box plot, as you can see, having a wider width uh, in terms of the length and uh, this basically indicates where most of the aggregation of the data is and then over here that over here so as you can see it's like much better representation of uh, how the data is distributed and uh, where it is more condensed along with the categorical data to see the spread of the data as well now let's say you want to see the shipping cost by the respective their respective shipping mode so if i paste it over here one of the parameter which you might have seen earlier is the hue and there we can specify the ship mode and it will going to create the three different distribution over here for regular air delivery truck and express air clearly indicating the difference between the three ones Apart from this, the next level of uh, visualization that we can do inside is related to specifying the sort of a stick or lines. So even the parameter name is same where the inner part says inner equals to you can specify that you want stick which will show you the data condensed over here and that's the reason you know these shapes are like this. So, uh, it will take some time based on uh, how long or how big the data is. But my advice is, you know, to apply it on the small data. Otherwise, it may take like forever to display that because it's a very condensed and very detailed um, visualization because it is trying to plot all the rows really that you are that you are having in the data set. All right. So it took some more seconds, like around three, four more seconds. And now you have the stick over here as you can see some dashes over there 
which basically indicates uh, how dense the information is present at that part of the visualization. Um, apart from this, uh, apart from inner equals to stick, you have similar more parameters uh, that we have used in the previous tutorials. So if I just come here and press shift tab tab twice, you will see that uh, we have used hue, we have uh, row parameter that we have used earlier to divide the each chart into a row or divide the each chart into a column. Uh, by default, it comes with a confidence interval. By default, estimator is the function mean. Um, so you can actually look at uh, over here the, the different parameters that we have and uh, experiment with it. Down there, you will find a lot of uh, explanation about the parameters that are there along with the information about some of the exercises uh, related to the parameters that uh, that are there not all the parameters but uh, most important one and uh, about how you can really customize your chart so that's about uh, at a high level the cat plot chart for uh, for kind equals to violin and uh, yeah I hope you have found it useful and uh, let me know what do you think about it and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic